Pacific on CRN. Welcome to Heaven on Earth, a sacred portal to visualizing, meditating, and co-creating our highest joys that usher in the golden age of Aquarius. I'm your host, Athena Starcy. Good morning, this is Athena, and I have my gorgeous co-host, Kim Hicks, all the way from Hawaii. Aloha, Kim. Hallelujah, Athena. I'm on Big Island, so it's an aloha morning in Big Island, and it is just fantastic here. Morning sun oh, is just wonderful. breaking through. I really. love to hear that. All right, so oh, let's boy. take a nice deep breath. Let's do our um, opening invocation. Welcome, everyone. Inhale. Exhale. From the point of light within the mind of God. Let light stream forth into the minds of men. Let light return to earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into the hearts of men. May the Christ consciousness return to earth. In the center where the will of God is known, let the center guide the little wills of men. The center which the masters know and serve. And may it seal the door where evil dwells. May the plan of love, light, and power restore heaven on earth. Archangel Michael, Gabriel, Uriel, Raphael, Father Sky, and Mother Earth, from the point of light that connects us all, please be here in this sacred circle of light. Om, 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 om. Shanti, shanti, shanti. Hi. Aloha. So good morning. This is a portal of possibility for all the light workers and all humanity, in fact. Um, this is where the 144,000 gather, and that means the beings that remember who they are, that woke up with a burning passion to do something greater than themselves, something powerful and magical and amazing enough to actually leave the world a better place. And as a channel and an intuitive reader, I see people all the time that have misplaced their purpose. <laughs> and they got <laughs> caught web, in the web of the matrix and started to forget who they were. So um, this is uh, kind of a, a little offering that Kim Hicks and I give back to humanity where we're discussing things like what's your purpose, why were you born, what are you going to leave behind, and how can we help blow pixie dust and lots of beautiful light on your hopes, wishes, and dreams. So we've had a series of guests for the last year. Uh, this is January. The, you know, it's kind of like our anniversary, December and January, of, of having the Heaven on Earth show one full year, and it has been gem star studded with incredible light worker guests who have been on point, really remembering who they are and doing one little wonderful thing at a time to make the world a brighter place. So last week's show, we had Ren, um, my yoga master teacher, and she was talking about what the purpose of yoga was, kind of to make a union with you and your oversoul or you and your internal spirit so that you are you go back to oneness, that you become more of who you truly are and how we're all connected in that. And so, um, Kim, I, I was in class on Wednesday, and one of the things she brought up, which I thought was very poignant, was five requests of the dying. I'm sorry, five wow. not requests, regrets, regrets. Five regrets. regrets of the dying. Regrets, yeah. Wow. And, and I thought it was really important because, you know, when you're in yoga and you're thinking about taking care of your health and reducing your stress and increasing your flow, um, you do think about what your life means. And people on the other end of that that are actually exiting the planet and reviewing their life, what were their regrets? So here's what they were. I'll read five of them, and then we okay. can jump into our conversation. Sounds good. Number one. I wish I had the courage to live a life true to myself and not a life expected of me from others. Wow. Yeah. That is number one. And that's kind of like the whole point of the show is can we have enough courage to live our own life and remember our life contract and be on purpose and not do what our parents tell us or not do what the society tells us or the government or just to make money, like some people that I yeah. do readings for, Kim, they, they say, oh, I, I have to be an attorney. I have, my mother and father want me to be a doctor. Yeah. We give it all up to so many other 
core values that come from elsewhere and commodifying entities. It's bizarre, and, and yet we really do have a deep inner passion of our own. We could just hold on to it. What's your number two? Number two is I wish I had not worked so hard, and that's an imbalance <laughs> of the third chakra. I wish I had not worked so hard. What do you say to that? Have, have you been working too hard, Kim? <laughs> yes, yes. And, and I constantly mull it over because it's uh, one of my great meditations. Is What is the significance of all this work that we're doing? Are we happier, healthier, and holier people? And I think not. I think that the reality is we need to take more time in paradise land in, in the totally suspended beyond time and space uh, naturalness of this planet and enjoy it in a way, and that's what the work is for. The work is only for that. So we've been corrupted into building large empires, you know, matrix stuff. And uh, it's liberation from that is going to be very useful in developing a quality of life that is really worth living, our virtual heaven on earth. Because I'm in it right now. I'm standing on a little promontory with green grass coming up through the lava rocks and a gnarly beautiful mother tree here with her shaggy uh, leafery and the morning sun's pumping in and the tide is throbbing and the birds are just calling around and palm trees on the horizon and I'm happy. <laughs> oh, I love that. Very, very happy I love to that. be here. <laughs> you know, it's, it's I, so beautiful yeah. because I'm in, I'm in, the, I'm in L.A. and, I'm, and right. I have been in, the, in this morning, I went out. And it's pouring rain. The grass is so vibrant green. All the oh, flowers are starting to bloom. I, I have bushes at the side of my house. They're, they're blossoming pink and uh, red roses. I mean, just absolutely stunning. So it's interesting. You're in the sun, and I'm in the rain. So we have water and fire. So we have passion yes. and we have emotion. And uh, we're talking about principle number two, not regret number two, not working that hard. What a regret. Yeah. Yeah. To take more time to I mean, enjoy life. The, the, the gracefulness that I'm looking at here is all of this, this beautiful place and the scenery and all these beings that inhabit it, including me, we're all just seamless, seamlessly, effortlessly being. Being is just a being quality. It's not a work. It's not an effort. It's effortless. And, I mean, the tides just flow of their own accord the spring the grass comes up you're enjoying the spring in california because the magic of the winter is is the exquisite um throb of life back into pulsation and the grass gets green and the misty glades and the rain just nurture everything uh, i i love california at that time did you are you are you hunkered down and enjoying a little bit of time out maybe fire I called in. That's why yeah. I called in. <laughs> I did not get oh. in the car and drive to the studio. I called in, oh. and I'm sitting in my living room with all my altars. I have all my candles lit to all my oh. avatars that I admire, and I've got flowers in, in, in front of me, and the rain is pouring down, and I can see the wind blowing the trees. It is magnificent. And in Saturday, really, for me, after the show, Kim, it's really a time yeah. to just sit, be still, and reflect. And, and appreciate yes. the work that I did do through the week, but take time to do nothing, right? Yes, it's the nothingness that is really the, the great. That's, the, that's nirvana itself. That's the meditative, contemplative point of the heart chakra mind uh, spectrum. It's just this effortless bliss. And I'm in it right here, and you're in it there. And I, I, it's just, that's such a great thing to do and be. But we don't do it enough, Athena. I know how hard you work all week and the efforts you put into your readings and your, your clients and your care and concern for everyone and your daughter and all the, the efforting that goes into life. And we tend to find that we're lost and isolated doing this work alone. That's why it's so important for you and I to create this web vortex consciousness where we can gather ourselves in a paradise paradigm and live in this timeless spiritual, uh, spiritually awakened delight, you know, and do it and help the whole planet do it. That's our heaven on earth mission for sure. And, you I, know, feel, I, I, yeah, I feel, I feel, I feel you're, I feel you're right on. And that if we could have a four, I mean, I would love to say a four hour work week, but even a four hour work day 
so that you'd have time to actually enjoy your life. Because when you're on your deathbed, Kim, I don't think anybody yeah. says, God, I wish I had worked one more hour. I wish I had worked no. more. I wish I had missed my yeah. family more. I, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. What were you going to say? Uh, I, I'm, I'm just feeling it all. It's just, it's, um, the thing that's so interesting here is, is it, you only need time in paradise. The Tahitians, the original peoples that populated these islands, and, and uh, not, uh, actually the, all the Micronesians, the king, uh, they basically lived on three to four hours of work a day. And the rest mm. of the time was for making love, building boats, talking story, you know, catching fish and hanging out. I mean, they were, and they had their hulas, and their hulas are just unbelievably powerful stuff. You think of a hula as a sensual dance, but, boy, when you see these men do the hula, oh, my goodness, what a power and what a grace. But they've all become those, these islanders all know the, the high quality of the art of life. And that's something that we need to return to is this uh, awakened artistic consciousness and let the machines do our work. Get the matrix to serve humanity and the well being, and we can and create a fantastic little heaven on earth all over this planet. That is, a, that is an advanced version revisiting Atlantis. That's an advanced usness that understands with wisdom our technology should be able to make our life better all lives all sentient lives better yes yes we can do this i mean it's just phenomenal i love your us usness quality <laughs> it's an advanced, advanced usness and i and i love that you point out atlantis and the mythology i find that the best thing i do when i'm done working and concentrating my creative juice on, you know, my next episode for Hawaii Five-0, when I slip into this enormous slipstream of higher imagining. So my creative juices are going, and then I have to I go tumbling through these images of what it would be like to have a small tribe coming in on canoes into, a, into this deserted island and kind of discover it. And, you know, the men would begin to build a driftwood temples, and the women would decorate the temples, and, and we would fish and feed and love and laugh and create this incredible, um, natural, love-making, nest, spectacular place to be. I mean, that's the dream, and that's the one you can't turn down. That's the one all humanity I, should. I, I believe that that's happening, and I am so excited that you keep imaging it for us and you keep describing it, because when you... Oh, my gosh. I just want to say to the audience, anybody who's listening, I absolutely love Kim Hicks as he drips with jewels. His, his I mean, the, you know, you're a word smith, a word architect. You're the roomie of our times. And when you create those luscious sentences, it does paint a picture in the minds of the listeners. And then they, too, co-create this reality through their imaging centers as we all collapse on one infinite band of love. Yes, and it's that collective collaboration in the great forest of dreams that we've constructed that is the way forward for us out of the matrix and into this paradise, heaven on earth consciousness. No doubt about it. And I just want to encourage everybody who's hunkered down in the matrix and all our, oh, we're going to go to break, but everybody who's hunkered down, there's some things we can all do. All right, well, this is Athena Starseed and my gorgeous co-host, Kim Hicks. This is a show called Heaven on Earth. If you like it, please subscribe. Please share it. And stay tuned. We'll be right back after these commercial messages from our sponsors. I want to thank um, Healing Soul Yoga with Ava for sponsoring the show. Also, the Green Fire Temple and um, Ren uh, Yoga. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Ren Rasa Yoga Maya, my beautiful teacher. Blessings. We are the debt destroyer. Any debt you have. 
credit card, tax, student loan debt. Call now to get our free report that tells you how to destroy your debt. It's a great resource. Plus, when you make this free call right now, we'll have a debt destroyer expert ready to help you. They can show you how they can help you destroy your debt and get your life back on track. Debt problems don't have to be overwhelming. You can live stress-free and debt-free. Credit cards, medical bills, IRS tax problems, even student loan debt. Learn about free programs offered by the credit card companies, hospitals, and even the government that can help you slash your debt. Call right now for free information, including our Debt Destroyer Guide, a $300 value, yours free. Call right now. 800-515-6348. 800-515-6348. That's 800-515-6348. If Ernest Hemingway was alive today, would he say this to you? Shakespeare, Mark Twain, Edgar Allan Poe, all great writers. And after reading your book, I simply must add you to the list. Wait, you don't have a book yet. So make a free call to Page Publishing. Their expert staff can help you turn your book idea into a real book, a masterpiece that could someday make the bestseller list in hard copy and digitally all across the world. Page Publishing can help you completely take your idea for a book, write it, and publish it. So if you want to join the ranks of some of the most famous authors in the world, call now for a free information kit. Turn your book idea into publishing gold. Make a free call right now to Page Publishing. 800-378-3212. 800-378-3212. 800-378-3212. That's 800-378-3212. The smartest way for you to get the lowest prices on your plane tickets, domestic or international, is to call SmartFares first or last, but you've got to call us before you book your plane tickets. Fly anywhere in the world, fly anywhere in the U.S., and SmartFares can save you up to 75% on your plane tickets. We have the lowest airline ticket prices on over 500 airlines, and you've got a great 12-hour free cancellation window. Plus, with our live agent help, you can always get fast help and fast answers. So on your next trip, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, how about right now? Pick up your phone and call SmartFares, plus save up to 75% on your plane reservation. So call right now. 800-915-2644. 800-915-2644. 800-915-2644. 800-915-2644. My gorgeous co-host, Kim Hicks, all the way from the big island of Hawaii. Aloha, Kim. Aloha, Athena. Oh, it's so good to hear your smiling voice. (laughs) What a treasure. We are. Thank you so much. I really love doing this show with you. This is so fantastic. I get to wake up every Saturday morning, and I get to hang out with my best friend and talk about wonderful, magical things. And for me, (laughs) that's my own little way to make heaven on earth. It feels incredible. It's my my way, too. It's the most fun I have all week is doing our chat because I, I get to give unbridled freedom to my imagination. You know, and I'm I'm just thinking about, all the single moms who are stuck in deadbeat jobs and have health issues and all this other stuff. And how about a big rescue uh, um, uh, asylum and where they're, you know, the community sends them to, to Big Island for a month to get everything together in their life and their heart and, you know, the, with the kids and everything, and then, and then get them all ready to go back into the world. You don't want to stay in paradise forever, but you sure want to know where it is and get there when you can. You know, I think that's and got a lot to do with what we're talking about with this. The, it, it really the does, because we were, we were talking about the five regrets of the dying, and, and you know, I wrote down on a piece of paper before um, the show started, how do we really live a life? I mean, we get given a yeah. life, and, and, and how do we live it? And I, I just intuitively wrote, we live it, or I live it, you know, without regrets. I, I try to tune into my own psychic nature, and I try to do the thing that I'm feeling in the moment, the most authentic thing, even if it's wrong, but I'll have an experience so that I don't have regrets. And when my teacher, 
when my teacher, um, Ren Rasa Yoga Maya, you know, was teaching our class on Wednesday about yoga and yoking with your higher self and becoming one with the universe, she brought these points up, the five regrets of the dying, and we came off um, on number three, but I'll just catch everybody up. Number one yeah. was, I wish I had the courage to live a life true to myself and not the acceptance of others, not a life that others expected me to, to live. And that's like a third chakra issue. She was talking about people having a block in their third chakra and their sixth chakra, not being able to think their own thoughts and not being able to have their own um, power in their solar plexus to actually do why they came here. And the second one was, I wish I had not worked so hard. And we were talking about that because people yeah. are so caught up in the rat race they don't take time to smell the flowers and walk on the beach and like and look at the sunset and really bask in the moment. And then we get to number three, and this is where we are now. And this is good for the moms and good for the um, the people that need to come out and experience their own paradise. This one says, "I wish I had the courage to express my feelings." This is another third and fourth chakra block. It's the solar plexus and the heart chakra that's not flowing. That we are so busy and so stressed out. By the time we have an hour and a half to pinch a relationship in, we're so shut down, we don't know how to respond. <laughs> so the dying are saying, God, I wish I had just felt my feelings. Yeah. And the, key, the thing about that, expressing those feelings, the key to that is understanding that the quality of life is to live it as an art form. And then you automatically have the tools and the resources to express constantly your quality in nature, you know. And that's what we're nurturing. That's why you and I are always uh, reminding everybody of the of the art liberation form that's coming. The potential for all humanity to live in its highest soulscape is actually uh, the proper modality of the universe. I mean, what are the trees doing but throwing up their sacred prayer songs to the sun that's coming up over here? You know, I mean, these guys are beautiful. They're just dialed in with joy and grace and. If we can get our light workers going and get everybody with a contagious uh, paradise paradigm flowing, and because paradise is something we can encourage everybody to build everywhere, and I, I I'd love to do a place, have a nice big place where we can bring people from around the world, stir up their spiritual and creative juices, and and then send them back to develop paradise pockets, little pockets of mm. paradise right there wherever you are. Cross pollinating paradise. Cross pollinating paradise. Yes, cross pollinating paradise. And we have the uh, technologies to communicate with all the continents and all of humanity. And uh, we don't need to have governments figure this out. We can. We want paradise. Let's create it. We can create it. We can build it right on up out of the context that we've got. So. So when, when I think of. Um you know, the block in the in the third and the fourth chakra, which is like people not being able to feel their feelings, when they feel yeah. peaceful, when they feel relaxed, when they feel safe in an environment, they can go right into paradise in a meditation right here, right now with what they have. And to start decorating the inner landscapes of the heart chakra. And if you look at the word heart, art is in that word, like Kim was saying, we are the art of our yeah. own universe. We're the art of our own life. So listen, this is Kim Hicks and Athena Starcy. We will be right back with the show Heaven on Earth, um, asking you to create your own personal paradise right here, right now. Blessings and Light will be back after these commercial messages. Yahoo! Trying to sell your old car? Instead, donate your vehicle to Heritage for the Blind. Pickup is free and your donation is tax deductible. Just call one 800-785-9618. Heritage for the Blind accepts cars, vans, trucks, and boats, whether they run or not. Call right now and receive a free three-day vacation voucher to over 50 locations. Call 1-800-785-9618. Donate your car today. That's 1-800-785-9618. Were you scammed into signing a timeshare contract? And did you miss the part that said you have to pay for your great idea? Not only for the rest of your life, but when you're not here, anymore, you get to pass this turkey onto your family for them to pay for the rest of their lives. Thanks, Dad. Don't burden
burden your family down the road and don't be stuck with expensive timeshare payments forever. Get out of your bad idea, timeshare contract guaranteed or pay nothing. Call Resort Release today and learn for free how their timeshare exit team can help you legally exit your timeshare contract. They've helped thousands of people and they're A-plus rated with a BBB. So if you feel scammed, get mad and get out of your expensive timeshare contract right now, guaranteed. Call N-O-W. 800-716-9903. 800-716-9903. That's 800-716-9903. Hi, everybody. Michael Horn from CRNTalk.com. You know, we provide you with the best in talk radio, eight channels of talk radio, from radio on the left, radio on the right, sports talk, business talk, religious talk, Spanish talk, you name it, we've got talk radio for you, all at CRNTalk.com. Well, now we'll bring you video as well as audio. That's right. Watch your favorite shows like the Robert Conrad Show, the Fred Dreyer Program, What's Cooking Today, What's Cooking on Wine, The Lounge, and so many other shows in video right at our website, crntalk.com. You can also watch us on Roku. Just search CRN Talk, and you can watch us on Roku on any TV anywhere in the world. Also on Facebook Live. Go to facebook.com forward slash CRN Digital Talk. Facebook.com forward slash CRN Digital Talk. Roku, search CRN Talk. Check us out on Tiki Live and at crntalk.com. Video for you talk fans, all from CRN Talk. When you really want Italian food, you have got to get to Colombo's. Colombo's Italian Steakhouse and Jazz Club, Colorado Boulevard, Eagle Rock. Is that little neighborhood place you wish was down the street from you? We're into the new year, new challenges, new people and places. But isn't it good to know that some things remain the same? And that's Colombo's. Colombo's is something you can always count on. Great steaks, the finest fish, Colombo's family Italian specialties, jazz every night, and the world's greatest meatballs and service that makes you feel at home. What's surprising is that Columbo's has been doing it right since 1954 and still going strong. And Valentine's Day is right around the corner. It's time to make your reservation. 323-254-9138. 323-254-9138. Columbo's. You know, that little neighborhood place you wish was down the street from you. Columbo's. Manja. Destination, South Point. 11 great restaurants, bingo, bowling, movies, race books, sports books, spa, live entertainment, oversized rooms, and the rates unbeatable. The South Point, Las Vegas. Book now. Online at southpointcasino.com or call 866-791-7626. southpointcasino.com or call 866-791-7626. At the South Point, Las Vegas, you're always a winner. and my gorgeous co-host, Emmy Award-winning Kim Hicks. And um, we are talking about pockets of paradise cross-pollinating around the planet. Now, that's a lot of peas, but we are very excited (laughs) about (laughs) living our life on purpose. And we are talking really about the five regrets of the dying and how we can live a life without regret. And we're coming off of number three, which is, I wish I had the courage to express my feelings. And we were talking about that, the third and fourth chakra block, to be able to open up those flows is to give your body permission to feel what you feel and release those feelings so that you can learn those experiences and become more full of wisdom. So, Kim, let's talk about the interpersonal feelings, like when you can actually, some people don't even know how they feel because they're so stressed out. How do you feel your feelings? Yeah, that's a good, that's a good one. Peace and quiet, but it takes time to allow the feelings to come through. For me, I have to let them flow through like waves and not get attached to them because I have a lot of imagery that comes with them and, and things of, you know, like frustrations and alienations that seem to come from the outside world. And, uh, but I let them flow through until I can actually relax. You know, the whole rituals of drinking tea or, you know, having a little piece of food to eat, uh, those bring you back into your sensory perception and center you. You know, a little, uh, a little, Acoustic environmental sound is just delicious where you can hear the birds sing, et cetera. And then 
the feelings all show up. And as I'm looking around here, I realize that this landscape is made out of beings who are feeling their way into it. They are acts of feeling rising up out of the earth and sinking roots down in. And there are beautiful little places by the ocean here. So this comes from a deep personal peacefulness, and we've got to like, turn off the TV screens and the computers and get, get to where you can hear the waves come through. Oh, it's just, here's here's a whole set coming in. They're just, it's like the the waves are just talking to the roots of the trees here. They know each other well. They've cohabitated on these points for a long time. What a beautiful thing. Well, let's get back to the feelings. Okay, well, I I really want to, I want to acknowledge the fact that when people have an issue and they feel contracted and suppressed, and stressed and yeah. cortisol has taken over their body consciousness yeah. that to tune into the feelings of nature to sit and become one with the trees or a sunset or like the wave you you really witness the universe dancing with itself and um, I was in yeah. Big Bear one year and my friend died and um, like he you know he pretty much like turned blue passed out when he came back okay because I was so shocked. Yeah. He, he was gone, I, I mean, for probably about a minute and a half. Um, we thought we lost him. He came back. He was in rapture, and he kept saying, the universe is making love to itself. Nature is <laughs> making love to itself. Everything's in love with itself. And I was like, don't you die on me. I was so freaked out. And he's like, no, you don't understand. The universe is love. It's all love. And, and he was so at one with this I want to call it a universal ohm, you know, this incredible yeah. vibration and feeling. And I was thinking, Kim, if you'd be so yeah. kind, music is another thing that helps us feel. You think you could play, uh, you could play like 30 or 40 seconds of some, some feeling music? That's, that's an easy way to get people's heartstrings in tune with their feelings. <laughs> in our heart, Kim, and when you pluck the strings yeah. of a guitar, your heart sympathetically vibrates in yeah. harmony with those strings. And yeah. I, I've been, I have to tell you, I have gone to music when I have had breakdowns, like a breakup yeah. or a loss yes, of something. Yes. I go right to my music, I would play something, and I, you know, I would work my emotions out through song. Yes. That's such a vital tool to such a beautiful thing. Yeah, you know, when you talk about the vibrations, um, if you're tuning your guitar and you pluck a big E string, you'll, you'll see the high E string vibrating in a sympathetic rhythmic harmony with it. In other words, every time you pluck any kind of string, everything in the universe that's around it is vibrating with that harmony. So that must be exactly the model of love is a vibrating quantity or quality that that is resonating up through the entire landscape and in fact creates the illusion of life itself uh so it's it's just it's fantastic i'm like always overwhelmed with the grace and beauty of this thing whenever i get the chance to really relax and appreciate her you know got to get our light workers got to guys everybody got to take time to get to the deep part of the matter and that's in a peacefulness in nature, I do believe, and living in a, a circadian rhythm between the, the dawn and the dark. I mean, there's nothing like lingering late after the sunset and see the afterglow. 
and all the birds coming in to roost and find their little nesting places and get 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 cozy to the evening. That's just once you're there, it's easy to see. That's what we really want, <laughs> and to be there with a few, 100, 144,000 others. Yeah. To light okay. up the world, definitely. I always think of that Coca-Cola commercial, where, like if you could teach the world to sing in perfect harmony, all yeah. these little candles would be lit. And when your heart sings, when your heart is in tune with nature, and you're really feeling your feelings like a symphony, sometimes you're on the white keys, sometimes you're on your black keys of the piano, yeah. but you're expressing those different notes and that different harmony. And it's making you feel richer in your life. And I want to kind of go back to the heart chakra because, the fourth chakra is the bridge, the lower three, which ground you into the planet, into Mama Earth, and the upper three that touch the sky, the Father Sky yeah. and Mother Earth, and, yes, and yes. you're the bridge between that, and you're like a walking heart chakra, and when that fourth chakra is open, it's easier to feel your feelings. As soon as your heart opens, bing, all of your body starts becoming in tune, and you can feel and this goes to, to one of our next points. You can feel your feelings when you're in tune with nature. You can feel the animal's feelings. Yeah. You can feel your friend's feelings. And you can feel people's feelings across the globe, across the planet. And so, so our wishes and our prayers Beautiful. is for our brothers and sisters to be experiencing love and light right where they are in every single moment. And, and that's the true purpose of yoga is having that paradise within so that when they open their eyes, they can project the paradise from the light behind the consciousness without. Mm. So, um, that's beautiful, beautiful imagery, Athena, gorgeous. Yeah, project it so out we, into the living. Yeah, go ahead. We are the, no, it's, we're projecting it out. We are the emissaries of light. We can all imagine every time that we breathe, we're pulling cosmic light from the center of the universe into the top of our crown chakra, letting it go all the way down to our toes, energizing our bodies all the way back up to our heart, and then opening up our eyes and projecting that holy light through us out into the field. So every time we're looking, it's like little headlamps of a car projecting the light of the universe through us out to our reality. And, and that blesses everything and everyone, and that alone will make our hearts sing. So mm. moving on from number three, which was I wish I had the courage to express yeah. my feelings. If you tune into your heart, you sing, you play music, you won't even have to have that regret. You will feel your heart's feelings. And number four was, I wish I had stayed in touch with my friends. Kim, let's talk about another third and fourth chakra issue. When we're so busy and we don't make time for our friends, what happens to our psyches? Why do we need friends? Oh, <laughs> well, I love the adage from Buddhism that says your sangha, which is your circle of friends, they are your teachers. So what we really need friends for is the intimacy of reflecting who we are back to us. And your circle of friends gives you the courage and strength and nurture it. You know, your circle of parents and, and siblings, and that's where you get your guiding posts from. So uh, the mirror quality of being a, a participant in a group that is there for the well-being, it's not about the gossip level of, of consciousness, but it's about the nurturance of Look at it this way. There's, what about this possibility? What could this be like? What does this mean to me? All these uh, vital aspects of uh, of, uh, of relationship. So I think that's an interesting way to look at it. It's a kind of jelloy, beautiful, mirror shimmering, floating ball of personality structure of which we are all interactive, just completely interactive. We're sharing harmonically with. I'm sharing with you. You're sharing with me. <laughs> You it's make my life richer. And I'll say the richness and wealth of the community definitely is about the beings that they're communing with. Absolutely. The richest richness yes. that we could ever have is a very deep, intimate friendship. And, Kim, I feel like, my gosh, our friendship's been over a span of almost 15 years now. And yes. you have lit up my life. You've been there when I was down. You've been there when I was up. And I had, uh, you know, all the accoutrements of Hollywood's dream in, in my field. And, you know, we've played music together. We've shared. We've broken bread. Yes. We've gone to the desert. We've gone to the mountains. What a rich, 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 rich relationship. And yes. uh, I was actually, <laughs> I was doing some research um, last night about friendship. 
And I saw a lot of yeah. interviews uh, with Jane Fonda and Lily Tomlin. You know, they're coming off of um, oh, yeah, 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 a yeah. Netflix series. A Netflix series. It's a, it's a huge sensation. And they were interviewed about friendships. And so there's a lot of books and science written now about deep, intimate uh, friendships actually extend lifespan five years. Mm. Wow. I believe that. Five years. Because there's, there's nothing that makes you want to check out quicker than having no purpose and and no friends and allies. <laughs> you know, That's why people who wanted to live forever always kind of surprise me. Because, like, really, do you want to be there after all the people you know and care about and have lived and loved and played with, are they all gone? I, you know, for me, it would be like, no, I just want to be in that school of fish. I want to be in the generation that goes, and when it's time to swim on, we swim on. But, of course, I want to do the best I can here now because, boy, this, uh, this little planet jewel is at risk, high risk right now from our own, our own hands. So this is why we're on this red alert, wake up, red shift to green. <laughs> Every light worker is being called into activation. Get your hearts in harmonics that can Red to green. Um, I love that. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to go green, deep green, deep and beautiful, living, loving color. It's just the imagination, Athena. We just see it and do it and act it out. I can't wait till we can get a little tribe and start, you know, act, doing some enactments and things. So, you know, you're going to chase this. It's a good way to look at life is from, from the death perspective. <laughs> so. Just the community, the community, yeah, the, yeah, the community of our friends and the richness of our intimacy gives our heart purpose to open wider. And when we, when, when we see our friends as our brothers and sisters and we see our strangers as brothers and sisters, our world does become more intimate and it becomes more open and it becomes more of a communion. And we talk about, you know, um, you know, hundreds and hundreds of years ago, we were all just huddled around a tribe, and we were raising our families in community with each other. And, and so yes. it was rich. It was rich in relationship. Oh. It was rich in music and arts and creativity. And, and there's going to be a big return to that. And I love that our show is speaking to the five regrets of the dying, because in our heaven on earth, Kim, every day you and I are gathering our tribe to create this type of environment that has our hearts begin to flourish. So um, anyway, this is uh, the last one. I want to say the last one yeah. here, number five of the five regrets is, I yeah. wish I had let myself be happier. And that is a second chakra um, block. Yeah. It, joy and happiness um, is a second chakra block, which uh, um, it affects the heart chakra because people uh, that are kind of always running around in fight or flight and always dropping down to the dimension of worry and fear forget that life is about joy and happiness. So let's talk about joy and happiness um, on the internal and then the external. Well, I think what the, 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 the thing I'm always amazed uh, about women seem to be, you all seem to be totally born with an innate joyfulness and that that joyfulness itself is 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 indescribably fascinating and beautiful to us guys you know and it's so i, I just i find it a, a stunning thing to to recognize the inner gifts of the feminine and can only imagine what the world will be like when the feminine energy is unleashed to make everything joyful i mean why are we wasting time with just what's acceptable we're not acceptable. Let's go for the joy. We can create a very dynamic system. I, there's a lot of guys. There's a huge intelligence resource. We have an open source planetary consciousness available to us. There's no reason we can't direct this energy into the highest level of co-creation with uh, you, our beloved sisters. And I'm speaking there for the noble-hearted masculine and anybody that's half awake. Come on, guys. Time to gather your tribes, get your people together. Time to help everyone find a a sacred sanctuary that's decommodified and has bits of nature in it and make sure the boys and the girls are there to get it because that's the dialogue we're going to face the future with. All right. Well, this is Athena Starseed and Kim Hicks, and we are in a show called Heaven on Earth, and we've been talking about how to live an on-purpose life. And we were talking about, you know, wishing to actually live your life with your own heart in mind. And when we get back, we're going to sum it all up and give you action steps to take to do to live on purpose. We love you. We'll be right back after these. 
commercial messages. Hi everyone, this is Fred Dreyer telling you about my favorite Italian restaurant. It's Angelo's and Vinci's in Fullerton, California. Angelo's and Vinci's has the best pasta, the best seafood, the best salad, spaghetti, lasagna, and the most incredible pizza. And the chicken is delicious. Marsala, piccata, cacciatore, parmigiana, and more. For desserts, try our spumoni or our tiramisu, my favorite, flown in fresh from Italy. And the cannolis and the zeppolis are out of this world. Open for lunch and dinner. And don't miss the Sunday champagne brunch. Just $21.95. Are you kidding? It's all up the road from Disneyland at 550 North Harbor Boulevard in Fullerton, California. Angelo's and Vinci's, like Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci. Call 714-879-4022 or visit us online at angeloandvinci's.com. Imagine this is your money and someone wants to take it from you. Who is it? The IRS. They want your money. And guess what? They can legally take it, all of it if they want. Remember, they sent you that letter that said, hey, you owe us a bunch of cash and we're going to take it from you. So what do you do? Fight back by letting our team of experts at the tax helpline work it out with the IRS so you can keep your money. And we're good at what we do. When you hire us, you get a team of guys on your side that know the IRS laws and will fight to save your money. So if you owe the IRS a ton of cash and you want to keep it, call right now and learn for free how we can help you put it back in your pocket. 800-932-1597. 800-932-1597. 800-932-1597. That's 800-932-1597. If Ernest Hemingway was alive today, would he say this to you? Shakespeare, Mark Twain, Edgar Allan Poe, all great writers. And after reading your book, I simply must add you to the list. Wait, you don't have a book yet. So make a free call to Page Publishing. Their expert staff can help you turn your book idea into a real book, a masterpiece that could someday make the bestseller list in hard copy and digitally all across the world. Page Publishing can help you completely take your idea for a book, write it, and publish it. So if you want to join the ranks of some of the most famous authors in the world, call now for a free information kit. Turn your book idea into publishing gold. Make a free call right now to Page Publishing. 800-378-3212. 800-378-3212. 800-378-3212. That's 800-378-3212. called Heaven on Earth, and I have my gorgeous co-host, Kim Hicks, Emmy Award-winning set designer, all the way from Big Island this time on Hawaii. Aloha. Aloha. So we are coming back Tina. with... Oh, just love when you say aloha. <laughs> We're coming back with the five regrets of the dying, which are inspiring me to write the five things that we can do to live a life without regrets. So I just want to recap. Number one was, I wish I had the courage to live a life true to myself and not a life expected of me from others. And I wrote down, do something you love today for your soul, for yeah. your purpose, something that you feel connected to that you were born to do. Give yourself permission to do that today. And number two was, I wish I had not worked so hard. And to that I say, take time in nature, be still, find your own paradise within, and relax. Take about an hour and book it on your schedule to do nothing. Bask in that nothingness and see how paradise just permeates your own being. 
And number three was, I wish I had the courage to express my feelings. And we were talking to Kim, and we asked him to play some music to inspire the feelings to come out. And that beautiful music actually opens up the heart chakra, the strings of the heart. So to you beings, my brothers and sisters on the gorgeous planet, sing something today. Paint something today. Color something. Kim was talking about being being the artistic expression of your life on canvas of your reality. So there is art in our heart chakra. And number four, there certainly is. I wish I had four. I wish I, I wish I had stayed in touch with my friends. The third and fourth chakra issue, opening up the flows, and we say to that, call a long lost friend and share a story. Forgive somebody. Be in in communion with those beings that have really touched your life. Call up an old friend and tell them how much they've touched your life and how much you love them. And for number five, I have, I wish I had let myself be happier, which is the second and fourth chakra issue, to open up the joy and the passion. And, Kim, what were you saying about I, I was being reminding happier? us that the, the, the magic of the American dream, the most magical part of the American dream, which is now the planetary dream, is the pursuit of happiness. And the most important thing to know about happiness is you can only be as happy as everyone is around you. So happiness becomes a synergistic endeavor, a global endeavor, in fact, of all humanity to uplift everybody. I think the the vow of the Bodhisattvas to return again until everybody is enlightened is also to return again until everybody is happy. All beings, all Mm. sentient beings. So I think this is a great... Uh, understanding of what the American dream has done for the planet and what we can do for the American the, the American dream, which is give it to everybody. This is a planet job, the whole project, all humanity can get involved in. So we need all light workers. Get on it. Jump into the flow and swim. Swim with us. So beautiful. So beautiful. So beautiful. Um, I just want to inspire everybody to, to really, like, take these words and allow them to soak into your consciousness because Kim is really right. When, when, we, when we're in service, when we're in service to one another and we're in service to our mother's business on, on Mother Earth and we're in service to love and to happiness and to joy, what would joy and love do? Joy and love would be in communion with all that is. And that goes right back to the purpose of yoga, to be in union. Atman Brahman, the soul is one with God, and God is omnipresent, and we are all touched by the light of that divinity. So we receive that light, we breathe in that light, and we share that light. And I want to say thank you to my master teacher of yoga, Ren uh, Rasa Yoga Maya, for bringing me um, this wonderful topic today. And uh, she'll be back on the show in February. I just want to say, Kim, I love doing this with you. You're my friend, and you fulfill oh. actually all five of these. So I live a life on purpose. <laughs> I love it. I love it. More to come. Love you. I love you, too. All right, you guys, if you enjoy this, please like it, please share it, and we'll be back here every Saturday, same bat channel, same bat station. Blessings to you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you.